I had him on my show. I asked him four specific questions. He answered them. But you see how verminous the media is, what they've done to me for 21 years, they've done to him now. I was banned from entering Britain based on things I didn't even say. They took me out of context. They said I said things that I didn't say, and they basically made me a persona non grata in Europe, never mind Britain. The left, the Marxist left, the illegitimate vermin who are in the media, they're the worst people on the planet. Never forget that it's the media who destroyed the world. It's not the left-wing politicians. The left-wing politicians couldn't exist a day if we had a legitimate press who actually pointed out who they are and what they really want to do. And now they're doing it to the one man who can save this country, in my opinion. So now we have a bigger issue. Apple will not help the government break into the phone belonging to the Muslims who committed the massacre in San Bernardino. I say, that t I say Tim Cook, CEO, thinks he's above the law. He's an extremely arrogant man. He's covering it up and saying he's doing it for your privacy. Nothing could be further from the truth, in my opinion. KCMO, Rick, what do you think about Tim Cook's behavior towards uh, the FBI? You have a mild mannered civil servant lady from Kentucky who's thrown in jail for not signing uh, marriage certificates for a gay couple. Yet you have the chairman of Apple trying to uh, take the same stance against a court order. His whole, the, the lawyer and the entire board of directors should be thrown in jail. See how long they last. Amen. Right on. All power to the smart people. All power to the smart people who listen to the savage nation. The world is upside down. Death investigator says Scalia's death probe very troubling to me. Who do you want to believe, him or the person who writes the stories for AP? The pimple-faced 22-year-old journalist, the little brainwashed drug addict. I'll take the death investigator. The pillow was against the headboard. Texas ranch owner clarifies Scalia comments. Who do you believe, him or common sense? Hypocrite! Vatican surrounded by walls. That's my headline. Take a look at the walls around the Vatican. As he flies home in his private jet, he has a carbon footprint on him higher than a mastodon. The Pope's footprint, his carbon footprint, is bigger than that of a mastodon. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. is upside down and it's all because of the most evil man in the history of America to have occupied the White House and I stand by those words I'll put my career on the line this man is the most evil man to have ever gotten into that White House and I'll prove it to you right now how would you explain a president meeting with race hustlers who helped burn Baltimore to the ground who helped burn Ferguson to the ground who were behind the riots as I speak he is meeting with these lowlifes these thugs along with another street thug, Al Sharpton. Wait, it gets even worse. Loretta Lynch, the number one lawyer in America, is with criminals, overt criminals who burnt Baltimore to the ground, who attacked police in these cities. You don't call them civil rights leaders when they are engaged in this kind of behavior. This is not civil rights. Martin Luther King Jr., in my opinion, would turn over in his grave to see thugs like this being called civil rights leaders. Obama is going to honor them for an event honoring Black History Month. This is what represents black history now in America, this kind of behavior. With Al Sharpton, Cornell Brooks, that fraud, the president of the so-called NAACP, and to top it off, our attorney general is, is attending a meeting with the biggest lawbreakers in the country. And he will skip the funeral of former Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia on Saturday. He has bigger things to do, like play golf. So why would a president, who I call the most evil man to have ever occupied the White House, skip the funeral of a Supreme Court justice but attend a, a meeting with these people? You don't have to figure it out. It's, it's so overt. Then what do we have waiting in the wings? You have Rubio. Rubio is like a Rubik's Cube. Whichever way you turn it, there's a different face. Write it down. I just created it for you during the break. Then you got Cruz. Cruz is like an elixir salesman. He reminds me of one of these guys that went around in like a wagon train into old western towns. Puts on a different hat every day in a different town. 
and with his slippery tongue, he promises a cure-all. Old Dr. Cruz's cure-all. Drink this elixir and the Constitution will magically, magically reappear in America. Drink this elixir and magically your arthritis will disappear. The only one I trust is Donald Trump. You know why? Because he stands up to the most horrendous situations on the earth directly. Even to the Pope. You know, no one else would dare stand up to the Pope for fear that they would alienate the Catholics in America. You know that, don't you? But Obama, I mean, but Trump stood up to that, uh, that Pope, Pope Obama. I almost called him Pope Obama. Because to me, Obama and the Pope are from the same, they're cut from the same cloth. Whoever got Obama in the White House and has kept him there, the same strings are being pulled to have found this Pope somewhere in South America and brought him all the way to the Vatican. And now he's espousing classic, classic Marxism. And so we're sitting here, and we don't know how this country can survive another day, let alone another seven months. Well, now to top it off, you have two Muslims who go on a rampage in San Bernardino, killing 14 human beings in cold blood, these lowlifes. These animals do it in the name of a religion, no less. What kind of religion justifies this behavior? The answer, there must be a religious because they said they're Muslims. Now, Obama tells us they're not Muslims. I get it. Every day we hear, no, 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 they're not Muslims. They, they've hijacked a great religion. There's an awful lot of them hijacking it. Where are they getting it from? Well, somebody must be detailing it to them. It's somewhere in that book somewhere to kill the infidel, to hate Jews, to hate Christians. So we the people are sitting here, we were just terrified of all of this. There's no one between us and them, it seems. So now the FBI, who seems to be the last vestige of hope in America, I have faith in Comey, I really do. They want to open the phone that the, um, ICE, that the attackers used in San Bernardino to see where they went when they escaped, who they called, who else is on their you know, the list of thugs, terrorists. And Apple is standing between them and opening up that phone on the basis of that. Yeah, they're protecting privacy. First of all, that's a, that's a lie on the face of it because Apple has done this for the government 70 times. Apple unlocked iPhones for the Fed 70 times before. So the tech giant is lying. How come if the tech giant has been willing to play ball with the government before and they're not doing it, and why are they not doing it now? What, they're afraid they're not going to be able to sell the iPhone in the... Uh, Muslim nations you, you think I'm joking don't you if you think I'm joking you are mistaken my friend you think I, I said that for effect you're wrong why would they open the iPhone on search warrant 70 times but they won't open it and unlock it used by one of the Muslim killers why it's business Apple has unlocked phones for authorities at least 70 times since 08 Apple does not dispute this figure so in other words, Apple's position in the San Bernardino Muslim maraud, uh, uh, massacre is not the principal defense that old Timmy Cook claims it is. No, 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 no. That's not what it's all about. It's about something else. Because Apple has done it 70 times before. Apple has the technical ability to extract, extract certain categories of unencrypted data from a passcode locked iOS device. Why won't they do it? They won't do it because it'll interfere with business in certain countries that won't trust them anymore. And I think my personal get bet right now, my bet is that Apple is, is, is bet on, on their position and they're going to lose big time on this. Even the most ordinary user of an Apple phone is scratching their head and saying, wait a minute. Oh, we know the standard left-wing fanatics are applauding them. The AC Listen, if the ACLU is on the side of Apple, what more do you need to know? If the Electronic Frontier Foundation is on their side, what more do you need to know? These are left-wing radicals, all of them. And what's surprising, actually not so surprising, is that knee-jerk conservatives are agreeing with them. All of a sudden, knee-jerk conservatives who wave the Constitution at the sign of a, a firefly. Knee-jerk conservatives... If a firefly comes near them at a picnic, they wave the Constitution at the firefly. All of a sudden, they're on the side of the ACLU saying, oh, no, hey, we've got to protect our privacy from the government. Well, we all want privacy from the government, but right now Apple can get into your, your uh, iPhone. So, so who do you trust, Tim Cook or uh, Mr. Comey? I'll, I'll, put my, I'll, I'll trust with Mr. Comey rather than Tim Cook. And they, they should arrest him immediately for contempt of court. If you were served with a court order like this and you defied the government, you'd be arrested. The marshals would come to take you away. Tim Cook is not above the law. 
It's a risky bet on protecting a terrorist iPhone. And I say the government should send in marshals and take Tim Cook away in handcuffs to show us that the FBI is bigger than Apple Computer. Period. End of story. What do you say? I don't know what you say. What do I know what you say? What do you say? Hey, hey, what do you say? Hey, 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 what do you say? The world is upside down. Incidentally, Diseases Without Borders, my new ebook on how to fortify your immune system against viral illnesses such as Zeta, Zika and others. I almost said Zidi. Zika and others. It's a tough word. Zika comes from Africa, by the way. Yeah, everything comes from Africa that's good. Anything that's bad that comes from Africa, they don't tell you comes from Africa. That's the latest little twist. Everything great on earth comes from Africa, but a Zika originated in Africa, they can't say that. And that the Zika virus is endemic now all of a sudden in Central America and the Caribbean. And it's coming to America through tourism and through immigration, illegal immigration. You can't say that either, apparently, because it violates the Pope's orders. Wow, all these conspiracy theories that I used to hear as a kid about the Vatican, I never even knew what they were talking about. Like from ages 18 to 38, I used to hear Vatican this, Vatican that. Then I saw the Godfather Three with the Vatican and the smoke and the banking scandal and the, and the, the banker, the Vatican banker, hanging from a tree that Coppola did. I didn't know what it meant. Now I know what it meant. That's all. Apple's risky bet on it. So here we are. You want to talk? What time is it already? A quarter to the hour? Only hour one? I didn't play this one yet. The uh, I did the Mexican government using the Pope as a pawn. We played that. Trump responds to Pope. God bless Trump for standing up to that. That Pope. What else? Oh, here's a good soundbite. Here is the head of the FBI, the only man in government I trust, coming out in clip number 12 against Apple for not cooperating in the San Bernardino investigation. Listen. It is a I big problem for law. Okay, I, I didn't give him the right signal. Let me say this. I, Michael Savage, am only a talk show host. I'm a reasonably well-educated, in fact, highly educated man. I have a reasonably sized audience in the top five. Let's put it to you that way. I don't have to trumpet how great I am. I am saying to Mr. Comey, and I hope that some of his assistants are listening, we the people of the Savage Nation would like you to slap a, a marshal on Tim Cook's doorway and put handcuffs on him so that we are all equal under the law. He is defying the law. He is not doing it for any other reasons that to prove he's bigger than you, Mr. Comey. He is in a contest with you to show he's bigger than the FBI. And we don't want any government, we don't want any company to think it's bigger than the FBI, not in a time like this. So let's listen to the head of the FBI and see his opinion on Tim Cook and his arrogance. It is a big problem for law enforcement armed with a search warrant when you find a device that can't be opened even though the judge said there's probable cause to open it. As I said, it affects our counterterrorism work. Um, you know, San Bernardino, very important investigation to us. We still have one of those killer's phones that we have not been able to open. There you go. That's all. And it's as simple as that. And I say, Tim Cook, you've overplayed your hand. You took a risky bet and you're going to lose. The people are against you. Now, never mind the left-wing fanatics, the Bernie voters. Okay? They're all for you because they're for everything bad and they don't even know what's good anymore. We do. Those of us with brains know that you're not doing this for any reason other than greed. And I think it's even beyond greed. I think it's beyond the greed of Apple. I think it's pure ego. Tim Cook thinks he's above the law, in my opinion. Tim Cook of Apple thinks that he's bigger than the government. And Tim Cook has gotten so big on his own self-image that he says, I'll stand up to the FBI and nothing will happen to me. I'm gambling that the FBI stands up to him and sends a message, a clear message, that in an age of terror, we've got to break into that phone. I, for one, would like to know who they were calling after they committed that massacre, wouldn't you? WJR, Terry, which side are you on on this Apple standing up to the FBI story? Which side do you come down on? Everything you just said, I agree 100%. Uh, they ought to authorize a, a warrant, pick him up, uh, lock him up for hindering and, hindering and opposing a federal investigation. Uh, I, everything you just said, I was what I... Okay so, okay, okay, so why do you think Tim Cook is doing this? If they complied with the government's order 70 times before... You're an intelligent caller. Why do you think Tim Cook is refusing to open up the terrorist phone? Scratch my head. I can't figure it out. If he's an American and who truly believes that there's a problem with terrorism and everything, I, I'm, I'm befuddled. I'm, I'm okay, here's no. my opinion. My opinion. One, it's for business. He doesn't want to offend certain nations that harbor a certain number of individuals 